Hello girls, how are you doing? Let's do another pick again. Today is going to be what are they afraid of? So that could be interesting, that could be um, triggering as well. So let's take cool, just tarot as I always say. So let's go, let's not fluff around Excel, let's go straight in. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Two pals. One, two, one, two. So pal number one, what are they afraid of? Well, the star, the empress, page of pentacles, holy mother of God. Were they afraid of you? <laughs> <laughs> straight in um yeah because they're afraid of the um power of you the intensity of you you are very intimidating you are everything they could hope for the, anything they could wish for or dream of you are exactly it so when you finally get what you want sometimes you can be overwhelmed and they don't really know how to balance their emotion but they will so there's no worry about it but at first it's like wow you know and you realize as well they are very um very much what you want as well so it's it's kind of a both sides a bit of intimidation because you finally found exactly what you were hoping for one day but they see the power they see they, they there is hope here there isn't the light at the end of the tunnel so it's not like oh my god you know it's too much i can't handle it no absolutely not but at first you have that feeling of you know a bit overwhelmed yes you are a uh, male female doesn't matter the empress you are four queens in one which means that you can be at time very loving and caring but you can be also very strong um very clear idea of your boundaries self-sufficient so it's kind of finding okay what do i bring to this connection that person seems to be so independent so together what do i bring to the table you bring love that's all you need so um of course they're afraid of starting something but they will because they know that now they have the the way to nurture this connection and maybe nurturing themselves first in order to be able to be there for you so they want you know with that golden coin they want to start something um planting seed and then growing this long term so they have the will to make it work and yes it might be a little bit green when it comes to this because it's something very new for them however they have the wheel to make it work so let's have a look but all together they're afraid of something that is actually quite beautiful so you know it's not that scary um yes this idea of um grounded energy earthy energy yes you are a very rooty you know in a sense of you've been through many different things in life and you also want to build but nothing's going to shake your boat they very much know that um you grounded energy maybe they have that fear of stability maybe they have that fear of building something long term that's possible but at the same time it's very reassuring for them you know so it's not that scary boom bada boom maybe they are afraid to be in a relationship maybe they're afraid of reconciling with you because maybe if there's an idea of like restarting here you know restarting with this time nurturing the energy so it could be that fear of coming back to you but very much in an equal um love in a sense like it's very pure it's very spiritual it's very emotional it's very gorgeous it's very very pure so maybe that that fear of stability but also sincerity maybe before they were a little bit more you know up there and suddenly with you it's real okay so let's see yeah they um they were afraid to be real because uh, with the 10 of one it's quite typical they used to carry responsibilities and and stuff that didn't belong to them and then they had to go back to the truth because then you have that ace of one so they had to go back to the core of who they are as a result they could present themselves again to you uh, and to be real this is who i am now i know who i am and i want to do things for me because i know what i want and what i require is a level of honesty within themselves that scares them because you are perfection okay so for me it's yeah maybe they're afraid of something but it's not that big deal because being afraid of the truth of their own truth it may be because they don't know that they deserve to be happy and that's quite moving at the end of the day right mm -hmm. beautiful so pile number two what they're afraid of the child fourth pentacle death mm -hmm. interesting they are afraid to move forward because uh, they've been watching you from afar and wishing to be with you and all in nice but you know you keep that idea 
far far away from you you know like yeah one day one day i will do that one day yeah that's fine but then again i'm staying put where i am i don't maybe um sham i don't want to be too shambolic when it comes to my finances or to my routine so but but one day yeah absolutely that would be stunning but one day right and then suddenly mm -hmm, there is an idea of rebirth that the way it was cannot continue it cannot you know hide in some ways they cannot just project themselves in the future they have to live it so they have an idea of rebirth giving birth to something but letting go of something else in the meantime yes there is an idea of moving toward you maybe the way it happened was so fast so intense i probably kind of like scare them a little bit for sure but they can see it's a yin and a yang together is balanced but maybe the f the, the intensity and the speed the way it happened scare them at first because when they saw you they were like oh my god this is this is the way it's going to be i'm not prepared i'm running away from it so they may have been overwhelmed by the whole thing yeah they didn't want to see the truth you see they were keeping you at bay because no i don't want to see it i close my my heart i do not want to go there no 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 but then you have that introspection here with the moon and then of course they have to come to the senses I think the first reaction was, oh my God, this is too much, I can't do this. But not anymore. Yeah, they were very slow to move forward. Very slow, very concerned about money as well and the stability, maybe stability, emotional stability, right? They didn't want to shake the boat. You know, they could see, but my goodness, this is, oh my God, this is a tsunami out there. I don't want to go there. Right, fair enough, right? There is a frustration. So obviously they know they're not in the right place because yes, it's about equal give and take. They have to give something that is um, meaningful to you. Um, if they're going to just block you or um, not giving you anything, what would you bother? So you're going to walk away. And now because they're frustrated, because they don't have you, they want you as well. You know, they want everything, but they have to give equally. And maybe, you know, they had to learn the hard way to open their heart. Uh, taking and not giving doesn't work, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably cut them off. Like, you want to play that game? We'll bring it on, right? So, damn, that didn't work. <laughs> And yes, even if they go back and forth and your story has been maybe a little bit tumultuous, that's okay, that's fine, because that represents number eight, so it's infinity number. There's no way to, you know, to hide or no way to save themselves. Yeah, they're extremely attracted to you. You have that uh, light and also... Um, sexual energy for sure but also you're very humble and you don't even know your heart you know <laughs> i love it i like mm -mm. but no but that's brilliant and and that's why they kind of like woof, you know and the luminosity you have the energy you have the way you carry yourself the way you speak the way you the, the way you walk everything it's like woof, you know so they cannot deny and even they kind of like mm -mm, i don't want to see it you know how can you avoid i mean come on you're trying to do this when you have that in front of you nice anyhow yeah so they're trying to block you or be in a cave and just like i'm not existing i'm not here i'm not here you think so taking any per face of course they're afraid of taking that risk that shake the boat don't get me wrong of course it's scary of course you know but it's so worth it you have the light you have the sunshine you have the joy you have the truth and yes you don't you don't have to know how to do this it doesn't matter you just feel like you are in tune and congruent with your heart what else do you want come on people on this note have a beautiful day and i'll see you tomorrow Mwah. ciao